Okay, what you're looking at here are the two gantry sides, one and two. These are parts Q and R, or Q and R. And on the bottom down here, underneath here, that's part P. Um, we've gone ahead and mounted these to the tabletop. You can see the uh, seven inch rails here uh, that are riding along the, riding along the rail. Um, one thing I'd want to point out, um, we used for uh, the bolts here, what size was that? Those are inch and a half. These are inch and a half, and as you can see, they, they poke out a little bit. We're probably going to end up replacing these with maybe one and a quarter inch, just so they don't stick out too far. Yeah. Not a big deal, because these aren't going to hit anything when the machine is finally done, but just from a looks point of view and keeping somebody from maybe scraping themselves, we're probably going to end up replacing these with shorter screws. You don't have to, um, but I'll make note of that in the, in the book. But as you can see, uh, Dad, if you'll move it back and forth, it is very smooth. You can hear it, and uh, it's square. Now, I will say this. This is one of those processes where it's really nice to have a second set of hands, or a third set, or a fourth set. Um, in the book, you'll see where we use some clamps to square it up so we could uh, take measurements. Keep in mind, this part P down here that goes underneath, that part, the plans call for it to be, I think, 27 and 11 16 inches. But see, this piece actually will vary from machine to machine because you've got this gap up here, right there, between the rails. If your rails are closer, if that gap is smaller, that means this piece down here will be shorter and it, it'll move in. So what we had to do was clamp this piece and that one together and then we measured from the inside here to the other side down there and that distance was actually about 1 16th, 1 16th inch longer than the plans called for. So we made sure to cut this at the size that we measured down here and not what the plans called for. There's very few instances uh, on this machine where you won't be able to cut parts um, you know based on what the plans tell you uh, in the book will tell you where you know which of those pieces you should hold off cutting until you have a proper measurement but this is definitely one of them right here in just a minute we're gonna put the piece that goes across here from side to side and it's another one of those pieces that has to be cut to size and uh, we'll t I'll talk about that on the next video